are significant. You are a part right. in the body of Christ. And when you're yeah. missing from your place, then the body is missing something. Yeah. Even if you only got a loving hello to give, wow. it's still missing something. You are yeah. significant in the body of Christ. You have to always understand that what has happened for you is that when Christ shed his blood for you, he gave his best. There was no better, no higher price that could ever have been paid for your soul. No higher price. Nothing higher given. If there was something higher that could have been given, there, um, he would have been given. But not even the heavens alone was as high as the price of the blood of Jesus Christ that paid for your life. Nothing higher. So you are valuable. You are, in fact, I take authority over every negative word that's been spoken over you now. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I command it to come down now by the power that's in the blood of Jesus Christ. You are not what people have said about you in a negative sense. I command it to go now by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. Lord, those memories, those memories of mother calling them out of their name, their father calling them out of their name, walking out on them. I rebuke it now. I command it to go now. And I command the power of Jesus Christ to stand in each and every individual that's here right now under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, you are free. I declare you free. Free in the name of Jesus. Free by the power that's in the blood of Jesus. of you to get into his presence to know the one who carries the gift we're not searching for just the gift we're searching for the one who is the giver of the gift and so when we want that place of intimacy we're positioning ourselves to get into the presence of God to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying through prayer through the reading of the word through the time of intimacy we hear where we can hear the heartbeat of God then we can declare, decree and declare the word of God in every place that he sends to us because we're God and the spirit of the Lord is living on the inside of us. So when he is, all of a sudden, the, the, the word of God begins to resonate in us. Then we can pour out that and bring in life, restoration to those that are around us. That will position people to get into their destiny. To push them forward into their purpose. So when we hear a word from God, we have to yield ourselves into a place of longing to be in his presence. To hear what the spirit of the Lord, Lord is saying. All right. And it says, then I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours and your brethren who holds the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So, so the testimony of so let me say it the other way around and it probably help you grab it any more the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus it's the testimony in other words what that prophet is hearing is hearing the testimony of Jesus concerning that person or that situation that's being prophesied to there's been times when I heard my wife prophesy to people and she began to prophesy big things and God is going to use you like this and God is going to do this and God is going to do that. And I'm looking at that person. I'm like, wow, God, I wouldn't have thought that. Come on, God. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that. But she's not giving them my testimony concerning that person. She's giving Christ's testimony concerning that person. That's why you can't never write anybody off. Right. Because you don't know what Christ is saying about them. You're just judging them based on their actions and what they've done in the past. So you I know you've been there. Is that somebody you've been mad at and upset with. And then the prophet comes up to them to give them a word. And in the back of your mind, you're thinking, get them, God. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is just what they need. Yeah. Lay, lay into them, God. Go ahead and get them. And they, said, and they said, I see you that God is about to raise you up. He's about to change everything in your life. And God is going to use you in a mighty powerful way. And you're going to go and travel the nations. And many people are going to be saved. And you're going to preach to thousands. And you're like, them? <laughs> Wait a minute. I just saw them two nights ago doing this, so on and so on and so forth. What? But they're not giving the testimony of the past. They're giving them the testimony of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Yes. 